Bob. Hey, Vermulen. Uh, shoot the watermelon. Arrow oh. shooting. Uh, hey, Bob. Hey, Vermulen. Shoot the beer. Arrow oh. shooting. Uh, hey, Bob. Hey, Vermulen. Shoot the barrel. Arrow shooting. All right, then. All right, now I'll show the uh, desktop editor, which you can switch into while in VR or start up with. Uh, it's just like Unity. You can move around the camera with uh, the keyboard and look around and then add entities uh, from the entity list. I can add in a cube and then uh, drag it around or I can go to scale and uh, change the scale of it in the desktop editor and there's rotate or move but all those also uh, mesh edit if I want to uh, edit the meshes but I'll delete that and I'll uh, select this guy to edit him uh, so if I go into the edit one, it can show me the variables, how things are actually set up uh, when he first starts up, and then, or I can go into scripting to start to setting up what happens when events happen. Uh, so under variables, I can select things like its uh, model and its AI state, just uh, starting AI state. I can add more AI states if I want. Uh, I can set its walk speed and things like uh, what uh, weapon is in his hand. And uh, for the chatbot AI state, I can set its voice type and its uh, chatbot type, which API it uses for the chatbot. And its name, which is what is used to for the initial voice command for the greeting. So I'll go into scripting. And uh, so the way the scripting works is that you add events and then you can set what happens, uh, what variables are then set on this entity or any entity in the world. Um, so with this event, on greeting from player, it says um, speak the line, hey, player name. So it uses the player to speak the line and then sets the target to um, the player that spoke the line and the AI state to chatbot. Uh, I'll just delete that. And then uh, this one says on, her on hearing a new line, if the line contains shoot, then go through each entity and uh, if um, that entity's name is in the line that we said to them, then set that entity as the target and the AI state to shooter. So just to show how this could be done, I'll get rid of all that and I'll add a new block for each and I'll select entity and entities. And then I'll say, um, if I'll go, oh, entity equals, I don't want equals, I want contains. So I'll drag this. Oh, wait, what do I want to do? Oh, yeah, I want to go on the entity. I'll say on the entity if the entity's name. So I'm selecting the variable on the entity. Since this could be any any entity, it shows all the possible variables. But if it was just a player, it would show just the variables that a player would have. Um, so I'll go if entity name contains, and then I'll drag the line there. So if the entity name contains the line, Oh wait, that's not what I want to do. I want to go if the line contains the entity name, actually. Yeah, so now, because it's just, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, for that one, because I've already selected the line, it just shows me the variables that uh, are text, because it knows I'm selecting for a line. And then, and so if the line contains the entity name, I'll set uh, on self, because I want to set on this AI's Self. I can, or I can be on world to select an entity uh, in the world, or I can set variables on the thing that I'm holding in my right hand, or I can set variables on the thing that I'm looking at, which would be the on target. So this list dynamically changes based on the context of what the AI is doing. Uh, so I'll go on self set AI state to shooter and then set uh, target to, oh, right. I want to set the target to the entity, actually, to entity. There we go. And I can hit play mode to start, but since I'm not actually in VR mode, 
I'll have to switch to that. But uh, that is everything. Thanks.